Hi everyone, welcome to Marlowe's Bake Shop, another how-to video today, and it's getting hot. I don't know about you, but where we are, it's starting to be summer, and there's nothing better in summer than no-bake desserts. Something cool, creamy, delicious that you can eat, and you don't have to turn the oven on. And we thought it'd be fun to make a no-bake dessert, obviously with Marlowe's Bake Shop cookies, but to do a classic and kind of turn it on its head. So today we're doing a southern banana pudding, but we're going to make it a little different. Instead of vanilla wafers, we're going to use Marlowe's Bake Shop's banana bread soft-baked biscotti. And this is available at specialty natural grocers all over the country, also online at marlowesbakeshop.com and amazon.com. So what we're gonna do is start out and you're gonna make some vanilla pudding. You can always use vanilla pudding mix, but we like to make things from scratch here at Marlowe's Bake Shop. So we've made some uh, in advance of today, but it's a really easy recipe, it's on our website. And essentially you're putting together two cups of milk, a pinch of salt, we're going to do two egg yolks, and so you separate your eggs, and then some cornstarch, which is our thickening agent here. You could always use tapioca starch instead if you'd prefer. And you whisk that all together with some sugar. I use turbinado raw sugar. It has a really nice texture that's still going to dissolve, but that brown kind of component to the sugar will add a nice caramely molasses flavor. That's just another more kind of layer of flavor in your pudding at the end. Um, and you mix it all together, you whisk it, and then you're gonna cook it stove top on a double boiler. So this is the part where you're not baking at all. And a double boiler is something you can buy at you know a local bed and bath or something, but you don't have to have one. You can always make your own at home. And we did that here with a small saucepan where you put about two inches of water and you bring that to a simmer. And then you just place a bowl on top of your saucepan that will fit into it and you whisk it right on top. It's a really gentle way to cook anything that has eggs in it so that you don't overcook it too quickly and get scrambled eggs. And nobody wants that in their southern banana pudding. So once you take it off the heat, you mix in your vanilla. You could always steep your milk with some you know, sliced vanilla beans in advance and really infuse the milk with the vanilla flavor. Um, you could always use whole milk or half cream, half whole milk to get a richer, more luscious pudding. Today we just use 2% milk. Keeping it light here, you know, the summer months, you gotta watch that waistline. So we've got our vanilla pudding. We've also got some thinly sliced bananas here. And for a whole batch of vanilla pudding, you're gonna wanna use about two bananas. Make sure they're on the right side, but not super brown, because you want them to retain their integrity when they're in that pudding. And then we've taken a whole five ounce box of Marlowe's Bake Shop cookies, and you're gonna chop them up in about fifths. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with a layer of soft baked biscotti. And we're using these really cute, about eight ounce ramekins here. So they're nice individual servings. And you're gonna layer the base of the ramekin with your chopped biscotti. And this is what you would use, um, or this is the part you would use vanilla wafers, but we're gonna doing banana on banana today. And this is gluten free, just in case anybody in your family is living a gluten free lifestyle. So you've got that nice base layer of cookies, and then we're just gonna layer the bananas on top. Now our pudding has cooled, and then we also let it set in the refrigerator for about an hour. And we put some saran wrap on it while it's set, and what that does is it keeps it from forming that pudding skin, which some people love, but if you don't like that, you just put the saran wrap on it, kind of press it down, let it set. Then we're gonna take about a half cup, woo, cheers, half cup of pudding, and we're gonna use a little half cup dry measuring cup just to make it easy today. And you're gonna pour that pudding all over the top. I only got about a quarter cup there, so another scoop. And it's going to really fill in the gaps there. If you can see, you get a nice close up. So you've got that nice creamy thick pudding. It's already gonna start softening up that crunchy biscotti. And then we do another layer. so good, I can't wait. One more layer of bananas, and then one more layer of pudding to bring it up to the very top, and just fill in all those gaps. So I don't know if you can really get in here tight, but you've got this beautiful single serving portion of southern banana pudding made with creamy homemade vanilla pudding, fresh ripe bananas, and crunchy Marlowe's Bake Shop soft baked biscotti. I would say eat this immediately. I didn't even bring a spoon. I'm going rogue. I'm gonna eat it with my tablespoon. 
You can let it set in the fridge too if you want, but just don't wait long. because It's only going to get stolen by your neighbor or your spouse. Oh my God, hold up. Thanks for joining us today. This is our other videos of Marlo's Baby Shop YouTube channel. It's not nice to speak while you're eating, so swallow first. Thanks for joining us.